children our topic of discussion today is the poem my native land by sir walter scott children first you understand the meaning of word native native means place of birth a place where a person is born like we are born in india so our native land is india now little about the poet of the poem Sir Walter Scott was born on 15th August 1771 and died on 21 September 1832. He was a Scottish historical novelist, poet, playwright and historian. Children, novelist is a person who writes novels and playwright is a person who writes plays. Many of his works remain classics of both English language literature and of Scottish literature. In the poem "My Native Land," the poet underlines the feelings of patriotism and belonging to one's country, and comments that anyone who has not felt proud about his country and called it his native land is a man with the dead. Saul. Now let's discuss the poem in detail. Breathes there the man with soul so dead? There is a man who is physically alive, as he is breathing, but emotionally he is dead because his soul is dead. According to the poet, the person who is alive but doesn't have any feelings for his own native land is considered dead next line who never to himself hath said children here hath meaning has this is my own my native land in this line poet is describing what kind of person is emotionally dead a person with dead soul a person who doesn't have any feelings for his native land and is the one who has never told himself that his motherland is his own native land children now the next line whose heart hath never within him burned by this phrase poet means that who is that person who has no heart no heart means no feelings who is the person whose heart is burned or destroyed within him why the poet says so because according to him any person who doesn't have any feeling or love for his own country whose heart is destroyed within him as home his footsteps he hath turned from wandering on a foreign strand children strand here means shore here it means land these two lines are the answer to previous questions that poet has according to him if a person does not return to his native land and is lost within the environment of foreign country that person lacks a heart lacks feelings for his own native land if such there breathe go mark him well here uh, the poet says if you find such person who has no love for his motherland you can blame him you can mark him for this for him no menstrual raptures swell the meaning of minstrel is a traditional singer who wanders from place to place singing song that are emotionally very touchy for his living raptures means extreme joy and happiness whereas swell means to increase in volume or quantity by this line poet means that no any minstrel is going to sing a song for him and about him means no singer is going to sing a song for such persons who do not have any love for that country 
no any minstrel will increase his happiness how to increase happiness by singing songs in these lines poet means to say that nobody will talk about such people who do not have feelings for their country high thou his title proud his name boundless his wealth as wish can claim here poet means that even though a person is extremely rich has a great fame and is proud of his name despite those titles power and pelf the rich concentrated all in self further he says despite all his wealth prestige and power he is a miserable person because a person who is concentrated about only himself we can say a selfish person is a poor person despite the enormous wealth means a person with all his wealth prestige and power is considered poor if he doesn't have any love and feeling for his own country living shall for feet fair renown here poet wants to say that he is alive such person is alive but should penalize for all his fame and doubly dying shall go down here by doubly dying poet means that such an unpatriotic person unpatriotic person who doesn't have love for the country dies twice dies two times once he dies due to his physical death when a person is physically dead when his breathing is stopped next he is not remembered by anyone after his death so along with his death he also dies from the memory of people children understand this the people uh, who have sacrificed their lives for the country they are physically dead but they are always alive in the memories of people like we remember all great personalities even today like mahatma gandhi bhagat singh rajguru sukhdev and all the martyrs who have sacrificed their lives for the country they are remembered today also so they are not dead to the wild dust from where he sprung his dead body the dead body of the person who doesn't have any love for his country turns into an ash and is mixed with the dirt within the ground from where he learned to crawl unwept unhonored and unsung no one drops tears in the death of such person and no one honors him no one respects him at the time of his funeral and no one is there to tell the funeral prayer means the persons who do not have love for their country they are not remembered by anyone when they are dead so children the poem my native land hints that one should have love and respect for one's own country it says how a man describes his country on return from a foreign land children i hope you have understood the poem well